Hi friends, today's story is called Jack's House. The story is written by Karen Magnuson, Magnuson Veal, and it's illustrated by Mike Wanutka. This is Jack. And this is the house that Jack said he built. But here is the real story and pictures to prove it. This is the bulldozer that scraped the land for Jack's house. This is the backhoe that dug the cellar where the land was scraped for Jack's house. This is a cement mixer that poured the floor where the cellar was dug where the land was scraped for Jack's house. This is the forklift that hoisted bricks to build the walls where the floor was poured, where the cellar was dug, where the land was scraped for Jack's house. This is the rack truck that delivered windows to let in light where the walls were bricked, where the floor was poured, where the cellar was dug, where the land was scraped for Jack's house. This is the boom truck that raised the shingles to the roof where the windows were framed, where the walls were bricked, where the floor was poured, where the cellar was dug, where the land was scraped for Jack's house. This is the dump truck that hauled two trees to shade the house where the roof was nailed, where the windows were framed, where the walls were bricked, where the floor was poured, where the cellar was dug, where the land was scraped for Jack's house. This is the van that brought the hammock, cozy and snug, where the trees were planted, and the roof was nailed, and the windows were framed, and the walls were bricked, and the floor was poured, and the cellar was dug, and the land was scraped for Jack's house. This is Jack, relaxing out back. This is the dog who did all the work. And this is the pickup truck. that carried away a patch of grass, two trees, the hammock, and Jack. This is the house that Max built. <laughs> the end. Did you enjoy that story? Interesting twist at the end of the story. The person who does all the hard work should receive the reward for that work. <laughs> well, I'll see you again next time. Thank you for joining me with this story.